Hi, this is Dr. Sarisha Batula. I'm here today to talk about heel pain. Although there's many reasons for heel pain, today I'll talk about one specific reason that's very common. The initial heel pain might start because of an injury or because of overuse or because you walked with the wrong shoes on a wrong surface. For example, if you went to Europe and you walked in kind of wrong shoes on cobblestone pathways all weekend long, this heel pain might occur. Also, if you're home and not wearing shoes and you have stone or tile or hardwood floors, that impact of your heel against this hard surface can cause you to have heel pain. When this initial um, heel pain happens, that's when you really need to catch it and treat it. If you don't do it at this time, then it continues to progress and spirals down into chronic pain. This is because our feet are made up of bones, but also plantar fascia. This fascia is something that goes from your toes down into your heel. And it's sort of like a band that holds the arch of the foot. If you tend to flatten out your arch when you stand up, you put a lot of pressure on this plantar fascia. And this plantar fascia, in turn, tugs on the heel bone and causes micro tears. When you start having heel pain during rest, your foot is nice and relaxed and your arch is recreated. At this time, your body tries to heal the injury that had happened on the previous day. When you wake up in the morning, if you don't stretch and you get, get up right away, it's almost like a bow, your arch being the bow and the bow string being your plantar fascia. If you stretch the bow, then the bow string gets stretched under a lot of tension. This makes the plantar fascia pull on that heel bone where it's attached to and that causes micro tears. And then you walk on these micro tears all day, which causes more inflammation and the process repeats itself when you go to rest or at bedtime. So here we have a foot and when we measure heel pain, most likely we're looking at the plantar arch area we call plantar fascia. If I hold the toes really tight, you can see this part that's uh, popping out. This is the plantar fascia. It feels like a cord to me, and that attaches right into the heel right here. And that's where usually the pain is whenever we say heel pain. And an easy way to test if you have fracture is if I squeeze from side to side if there's pain, that's a fracture pain. So that's different from this attachment of the plantar fascia right here, which is where most of the heel pain lies, right in here. And as you can see how tight this plantar fascia is, this tightness actually causes heel pain as well by the constant pulling, especially in the morning when your foot is relaxed, it's nice and um, relaxed like this with the arch re, um, uh, reincarnated right here. And then you get up in the morning and everything stretches out. So all night your body's trying to heal this, but as soon as you get up and you stretch, this plantar fascia starts pulling on the bone again and that causes micro tears. And this is why it's very important to do the specific plantar fascial stretches that I'm going to describe today and ice and catch this pain in time and also use the right type of inserts and shoe gear. This is just a small foot model. Uh, you will not see the plantar fascia, but if you bend your toes this way, you'll definitely feel the plantar fascia tighten up on the bottom. And this is kind of the type of stretch you need to do. You need to pick up your foot, you can bend your knee um, and bend your toes. Use the same hand as the foot. If it's your right foot, use the right hand to stretch your toes back. And then use the other hand to feel the plantar fascia right there. And that will tell you that you're really stretching it. Hold it for 30 seconds and do it three times. It sort of looks like this when you're doing it. You fold your knee and you do it that way, okay? And 30 seconds, three times. You do this whenever you sit down for long periods of time watching TV, reading books, or if you're asleep before you wake up and step out of bed. Before that first step, you have to stretch. And this is the key stretch we recommend to release all of those plantar fascial muscles. You can also do foot circles and other type of warm-up type of exercises for the feet that will help. Now the second most important thing is to wear shoes all the time, including in the house. Um, just regular tennis shoes, sports shoes would be, would be very helpful. Uh, if your pain is greater and it's not being relieved by the shoes, you might want to go out and get an over-the-counter insert that has a nice sturdy arch, not one of those soft flimsy ones, but something that feels hard. Not hard to touch per se, but something that's firm enough that it doesn't bend when you bend the arch. And those type of inserts tend to be good. Um, I like power steps a lot and super feet and 
you know, many other ones on the market, make sure that there is a polypropylene base underneath it that helps you. And these tend to help inside shoes hold up your arch. Now, regular tennis shoes will also do a great job right off the bat. That's the second, wear shoes at all times, even when you get out of bed, you have shoes next to you after you stretch. The third thing is, of course, at the end of the day, if you're feeling a lot of pain because you had to do a lot of walking or work, then you want to ice your foot. And the easiest way I find to ice and massage your foot at the same time is take one of those small water bottles, um, like a Evian water bottle, a small one that has a lot of ridges on it, freeze it in the freezer and use it to roll your foot on top of it. Uh, while you're watching TV, while you're sitting and reading, just roll your foot on it for about 10 to 15 minutes. This ices as well as massages. If you have tried all of these, the plantar fascial stretching after rest, shoes with inserts and icing, and you're not getting better, then it's time probably to go see a specialist, your podiatrist or your doctor or orthopedist because they might be able to do other things such as give you an injection, do custom orthotics, send you to physical therapy, which are all very helpful modalities. But first try these three things right off the bat and these might just give you the relief you need. Thank you very much for watching.